So let me, I guess he's praying to himself, right? <laughs> it said, These words spake Yahweh Shai, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Wait a minute, brother. Can I ask you a question? If he was his father, why would he ask his father to glorify Right. Him? Well, he, had to, he could have glorified himself. He could have glorified himself. Now in John 7 and 18, 718, it says, He that speaketh of himself glorifieth himself. Mm -hmm. Didn't Yahweh Shai said that? That's right. <laughs> yep. But he spoke of who? He spoke of his father. That's right, because he came to glorify his father. He exactly. Came to glorify himself. Exactly. You got it. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Wait a minute. As thou hast given him power over all flesh? If he was his father, wouldn't he give himself his own, the own power? Wouldn't he give himself the power? That's right. You know, that's why he told Pilate, he said, look, man, you could, you can, you can have no power over me except my father, which was in heaven, gave it, gave it to you. And he always made reference to his father. That's right. So if he is his father, why would he make reference to his father? These guys would have you believe that Yahweh Shai was a besotted, senile old man <laughs> that was drunk. <laughs> no, sorry, that's not the case. That's right. Go on. And verse 3, and this is life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God or power, and Yahweh Shai Mashiach, or Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. You got it. That's two people right there. And this is the life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, or the only true power, that's the Most High, and Jesus Christ, or Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. How the hell is he going to send himself? <laughs> Hey, you can read up to uh, the 20, what is it, the 21st verse. Then it's going to say, I and the Father are one. Then we're going to explain that. Because right. that's one of the scriptures that those those baboons use to yep. prove that the, the Heavenly Father and the Son are the same. Right. Keep, keep going. Yeah. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, Glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Wait a minute. I have, he made in uh, verse 4, he made a statement. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Yep. So if he was his father, <laughs> if he was right. his father, he would have gave himself the, the he would have gave himself that work. Right. He said, I finished the work that you gave me to do. That's right. Go on. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. In other words, before the world began, Yahweh Shai was up in the heavens with the Most High. Mm -hmm. So he said, glorify me with that same glory, because he was to be made back perfect again. In other words, to be uh, glorified back in that, 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 um, that um, immortal uh, body. Right, because we lost that beginning with Adam, which he was Adam. Right. And the Bible says that through Adam we all sinned. Right. So we lost what? We lost our glory through Adam. But now, as the second Adam, he was saying, Father, give me the glory that I had mm -hmm. as Adam before I sinned. Right. And we're going to get back that glory. As a matter of fact, um, in uh, Romans 5, let's go to Romans 5, 11 to 12. Romans, Romans chapter yeah. 5, verse 11. Okay, let me get it here on, on screen. <laughs> Romans 5 I'd like you to expound on it Alright, Romans chapter 5 verse 11 And not only so But we also joy in the Most High Through our Lord, Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. That's another distinction right there <laughs> we glory, we not, and not only so, but we also joy in Yahweh or the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai, by whom we have now received the atonement. The atonement is what? The healing. Right. Another word for atonement is healing. What is the healing? The Lord giving us back that glory and that power that we had before our forefather Adam sinned. That's right. That's the atonement. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that glory, that power. Yep. That we once had, that we lost. That's why in the book of Psalms 82 and 6, Yahweh Shai said, I have said, ye are gods, right. but ye shall fall like one of the princes. Yep. And that began with Adam. 
Right? That's right. Go on. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. It's basically saying that when Adam fell and he sinned, that sin came upon all men. Mm -hmm. And it says... Um, Skip down to the 14th verse. Verse 14. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. Mm -hmm. Because the law wasn't, wasn't in effect yet, but a uh, man still went off because of Adam. Adam went off, then the, the man and man went off. And we lost our power. The right. main thing we lost was our power, right? Our, which was part of our glory. Yep. And that's what we want to get back. Yeah, we want power. If, yep. if the Lord said that we're a, a special people unto Him, right? Yep. So a special people unto Him, us, they're supposed to have power. That's right. To rule over the other nations. You got these guys that want to be the same with the other nations, you know? They want to rule side by side, you know? Hey, well, the name Israel itself means he is He's a prince, prince of God. power. And that's the power. name the Lord gave only to the Israelites, not to everybody else. Yeah. So we're not supposed to be ruling side by side with everybody else. Right. We're supposed to rule over them. And that's called a ruling class mentality, which a lot of our people, two-thirds of our people, don't have. That's why they're going to be destroyed. Okay, I think we made the point there. All right. So now let's go back to John 17. John 17, uh, John chapter 17, verse 6. It says, um, I have manifested thy name unto the men. Matter if I read 5 again. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. So basically, Yahweh Shai gave the men that the Most High gave unto him the name of the Most High, which is a different name than the name of Yahweh Shai. Because the name of the Most High, Yahweh means I am or he to be. The name of Yahweh Shai means he is the deliverer or he is the savior. Two different names. They, they're similar, but they're different names. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Verse 7. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. So the point is, this is a prayer that Yahweh Shai is praying up to the Most High. So now his why, father. To his father, right. Mm -hmm. So now why is he, does he keep saying thou and you gave to me? And whatever you gave to me, I gave to them. If, he, if they were the same person. If they were the same person. And why, if they were the same person, why did he have to pray up into the heavens if, if he was already the Most High? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't he just say, well, you know what, I'm the Most High, you know, whatever I say or do, that's what's going to go down. That's what's going to go down, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why we pulled out John 17, because John 17, basically all you got to do is read John 17 on those comatose assholes. Yep. And, that, and that pretty much explains it, John 17. But we have a couple more scriptures, and I know you got a couple, mm -hmm. and we're going to... Um, you know, end the discussion. <clears throat> Go on. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. Because the Most High gave Yahweh Shai a certain uh, um, blueprint, so to speak, and he had to follow it. Mm -hmm. And they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. So the... the all you got to do is read it. You don't even have to break it down. Yep, it, it breaks it down. It's, it explains itself. It breaks it down itself. Yep. Then it says, I pray for, verse 9, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. In other words, he prayed for the ones that the Lord gave him, the Most High gave him. He didn't pray for all of Israel because all of Israel was going, wasn't going to be saved at that time. Even though later on they were going to be saved in the kingdom. Right, how is he going to pray for the whole world of Israel when two-thirds of the world of Israel rejected him? That's right. Didn't want to have nothing to do with him. Uh, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. As I come, and I come to thee. <laughs> See, so Yahweh was saying, look, I come to you because that was, that was the...